Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we got Gunslinger Suicidal West London. Love these maps from KF1. It's Sunday o'clock, 7 o'clock at night. It's, uh... I'm not supposed to be recording today. I, uh, I ended up not recording everything I needed to on Friday because I had to get up early Saturday morning to play D&D. Uh, but... I, uh... I didn't end up playing D&D because I couldn't sleep all night. Couldn't sleep all night. It was really unfortunate. Um, I felt bad because I couldn't... I had to like cancel the session because... You know, if somebody else doesn't show up, it happens on times, right? It happens every now and then. Somebody uh, last minute is like, actually, you know, like, I'm not going to be able to make it today. Sorry. You know, carry on without me. As the DM, uh, <laughs> when I can't show up, it just don't happen, you know what I mean? So, a little bit unfortunate, a little bit sad, but um, what can you do, right? I couldn't sleep all night. It was 5 a.m. and uh, I uh, had to play D&D in an hour. I had zero sleep. It's like, yeah, it's just, it's not viable. <laughs> I uh, I don't have I don't have it in me to stay up for four hours with because D and D being a DM in D and D is 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 like um, yeah. mentally straining we'll say because um, there's a lot to think about all of the stuff that's happening and you have to be kind of like you kind of got to be the the game developer you know the game designer more so than the developer although a little bit of developing as well. Um, you gotta be the game designer, and you also have to be the dang computer that's like handling the whole world and everything at the same time, you know? And it's, it's, uh, it's definitely a tiring process. Fun! I love it, but if I don't have sleep, I'm definitely not gonna be able to, to put on a, a good show for my players, and... Yeah, it kinda sucked, and, and again, it's like, you know, if any of the other players were to were to uh, not be able to make it to the last like last minute and just be like, yep, I just can't, I can't uh, make it. That's fine, right? Like a little bit unfortunate, but we can play without you. And oftentimes we do. Oftentimes we do play without them. Um, I'm I'm fine with missing up to two people in a session as long as there's at least three people there. I'll I'll play the session and. Um, we'll just make up something for the other characters at the time. I don't really want to play their characters or like figure it out or whatever. Um, but yeah, when I'm the DM, it, it kind of gives you a little bit more pressure, right? Kind of, kind of makes it a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. You just feel more bad. Like when I was when I was a player, when I played D and D with uh, with some friends, and I was a player, and I didn't make it to a, a session. I was like, yeah, sorry, I'm not gonna be able to make it to this one. No big deal, right? No big deal. Nobody's really... This cat's back in the nobody's, nobody's super upset about it, right? Like, everybody's pretty okay. They'd be like, yeah, hey, that's fine. We'll just let you know what happened, right? And uh, when I'm the DM, all of a sudden, when I can't make it, I feel like I'm just, like, the biggest jerk that's just ruining everybody else's fun. Because everybody else was there, and it's just me, like, yep, yeah, sorry, I can't do it. Now all of them have their... Have, the, have their plans for the day kind of fallen through, right? Um, now, with that said, they could have, you know, taken it upon themselves to go and um, play, like, uh, a one-shot with somebody else being the DM. They could have decided to play some tabletop simulator, board games among us, you know, whatever. They could have been like, hey, you know, we're not going to be able to play DM. We're not going to be able to, be able to uh, our DM's not here. Maybe we can do something else together instead. I wasn't there, so I wasn't going to be like, I guess I'll, uh, you know, also while I'm here, like, organize you guys to be able to do something so you guys can still have fun without me. Um, which is what we would have done if, uh, if my DM couldn't show up. Um, but, you know. If they, they, if they didn't want to do it, they didn't want to do it, it's fine. You know, they can go find something else to do. It's, uh, ultimately it's my fault for not being there, but then at the same time, it's not really my fault for not being able to sleep, so... Yeah. One of my, uh, one of you guys, one of you guys out there, you guys were asking about uh, a story about heartbreak. Somebody in the comments mentioned that they'd like me to talk about heartbreak. 
And I have, uh, I have an apology for you. I haven't really had any so much. Um, I've, I've dated in the past, but ne nothing particularly serious. And, um, yeah, nothing particularly serious. And I didn't really care for, I don't know. The, 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 the times that I dated were before I realized I was a woman, before I came to the realization that kind of threw everything in my life on, uh, on its head, before I realized I was trans and all of this, and um, so those, those relationships, I don't know, they, they definitely count, but I kind of just don't feel like they do, because it wasn't really me, I don't know, I have been rejected since uh definitely been rejected since uh since coming out as charlotte but i wouldn't really call that the same as heartbreak because my heart's not really broken by it you know i'm moderately uh upset by it puts puts you in a bad mood for a day or two right but i mean other than that it, it's really rejection's not not that bad smack all oh. How beautiful it would have been if I could have got another one of those fallen Zed time shots. I love them, dude. I love those shots when you when you just like you see them falling and then you just you you aim it, you lead it, and it just smacks them in the face. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. I love it. Yeah, I've been rejected, um, but I don't know. It doesn't really. I don't know. It, it doesn't really bother me. You know, I'm still friends with. Uh, yeah, everybody that's rejected me, um, we still, like, talk to each other all the time. I don't know, it, it doesn't really, it's not really heartbreak, you know? I think that heartbreak is more of, uh, really more of when you have, like, a lasting relationship that you're kind of invested in, and then, you know, somebody's like, I, I'm out, and then the other person is like, oh my god, I thought things were going great, and then, uh, their heart's broken. You know, or when, uh, you know, partner dies or something. <laughs> Not that that's funny, but I'm laughing anyway because it's morbid. And that's how I handle morbid I, uh, concepts. Um, hello, buddy. What, an, what, a, what, what a shot. See those shots? Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, see, I've never really experienced heartbreak so much. It's not really a... Uh, Something I've had to deal with before. I was pretty torn up around my. Uh, I my my first relationship, my first like actual relationship, um, like where we considered each other to be, you know, where 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 she was my girlfriend, you know, um, my first like serious relationship was uh, like a week long or something. It didn't last long, right? Um, I was pretty torn up at the time, but it was mostly because everybody around me kind of... Because I was... She broke up with me, and I was like, oh, that sucks, but, um, okay. Uh, and then everybody around me was, like, making a big deal out of it, right? They're like, oh, you know, you can't go on the internet now because you're going to be overreacting, and you can't do this because you're going to be overreacting, and you're going to be so sad, and you're going to be so broken up by it, and you're going to be so beaten up, and I kind of just put on the face of being really beaten up by it, and I... I honestly uh, didn't care that much. I wasn't really invested in the relationship to begin with because, well, it makes sense now when, when I know that I'm a girl and I'm interested in men when uh, when I wasn't particularly interested in having a girlfriend back then. It makes sense now, looking back on it. You know, hindsight 2020 and all that. But uh, can, can, he, can she shoot me through this? Maybe if I had it lined up just right. Maybe. Maybe. I did a lot of shopping today. I was supposed to go grocery shopping. Today was supposed to be grocery shopping day, but uh, so much for that. I ended up doing a lot of other non-grocery shopping stuff. Um, we went to uh, like a department store. Picked up, I picked up some new bed sheets and uh, like some containers for, for meal prep and just like having stuff in the fridge in general. Where are you? Um, got some... What else did I get? What else did I get? I got a couple of, uh, 
like classic Moscow Mule mugs. I love Moscow Mules. It's a uh, it's like a ginger beer cocktail. Super super good. Super super good. Um. Money yoink. Uh, so it's the uh, Moscow Mule is like ginger beer, lime juice, a uh, bit of vodka, I believe. I think that's pretty much it off the top of my head. I could be misremembering. Um, I don't make them too often. I typically like buy a mule, but I bought a couple of mugs because they were nice, right? It was like 30 bucks for two of them or whatever. And uh, if nothing else, they'll be a nice thing to have in my kitchen and, and kind of add some character, I guess when I eventually move out, <laughs> whenever that happens. Hopefully soon, but we'll see. Um, and then I got, uh, what else did I get from that store? Oh yeah, I got towels. I got two like normal towels. I got a, uh, I got a uh, like bath sheet, whatever the heck that means. It's like a gigantic towel. Um, and then uh, I got a couple of, uh, like, just face cloths, basically. They're all purple and matching, of course, because purple is my favorite color. Um. Um, so I got that from, from this uh, department store. And then we went to Walmart. Well, we went to, uh, like, a bunch of different stores, actually. We went to Best Buy. Which I think is a Canadian thing. Oh, jeez. No. Yeah, you guys have Future Shop in America, I believe. Anybody living in America, I believe you guys have Future Shop. Uh, it's like a... Uh, just just a big box, like, tech store. Um, uh, so you went there. I didn't get anything there. Nothing particularly interesting to me at, uh, at Best Buy. Anything that I would want to get there, I'd, I'd happily go get on, like, Amazon or something instead. Sorry. I'd rather look around for like sales than than just go to Best Buy and buy something like some kind of some kind of fool. But my uh, my mother just got a new phone. They didn't have any cases at the phone store. Like, come on, dude. Um, so we went to Best Buy, got her a case, and uh, she's now bothering my sister to learn how to use it. <laughs> Don't envy that. Do not envy that at all. Um, yes, yeah, so we went to Best Buy, we went to, uh, where else did we go? We went to a, uh, we went to, like, a clothing store. Payless or something? No, not Payless, that's a shoe store. Um, I can't remember the name of it, but we went to some kind of clothing store. They didn't really have anything that I cared for so much. A store I might shop in once I've lost weight, not a store I would shop in before I've lost weight, <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't want to spend that much money on stuff, and it wasn't even like a super high-end store, but I just, uh, I don't feel good about spending like 50 bucks on a shirt, and uh, then, then having to get like a whole dang wardrobe when I'm paying 50 bucks a shirt, you know, because I gotta, again, I have to buy like everything, I have to buy like so many shirts and pants and socks and underwear and bras and everything, right? Like you gotta, you gotta <laughs> rebuy it all. It's expensive. Saving like five bucks on on each thing ends up saving you like hundreds of dollars. Um, so it's like <laughs> I definitely want to shop cheaper, so I can definitely save even more than five dollars. I can save like twenty, thirty dollars and save myself a few thousand dollars, right? Like that's that's substantial. Um, so I. Uh, I didn't get anything there. It wasn't. It wasn't really what I needed. I do need shirts. I do need pants. I do need clothes. You know, but fifty bucks a shirt. That's that's outside my price range. I might. Uh, I might buy some like plain white tees because uh, I know that it's like t-shirt. dot ca or something like that. Some something like that. Um, they sell like plain white tees from various brands, and you can buy them in bulk and get a discount. I'm thinking I might just go buy like. 20 plain white tees and just, um, like, um, like go to like a printing shop and just, not, not like a, like a, I forget what it's called, screen printing or something like that. 
Um, anyway, do just buy like a bunch of white tees and then just like put whatever design I want on it um, for myself, and that would probably save me a ton of money, and I'd get end I'd end up with like fairly decent whole, uh, clothes too, right? So that's that's probably what I'll end up doing for my shirts. I'm thinking, and it would give me like I could put whatever design I want on it, you know. I could put uh, some advertising for myself on my shirts. I definitely wouldn't. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not at the point where uh, where I can do that. I don't think you have to be shameless, but I think at my size you have to be shameless. Um, because once once you're like once you got like a million subscribers and like people look you up and you're like, you were you. You know that's that's a different thing than like, yeah, you're just wearing that so that I go look at your channel. You know. Anyway. Um, but I can put like my own designs on it and like find designs on the internet and then just get them to print those. So it's not for commercial purposes, I think it should be allowed. Um, or just figure out how to do it myself. It's probably not that hard, right? Probably not that hard. And if I'm gonna be doing this for like going forward, it might even be worth it to actually uh, get that stuff set up. It might even like be a, a money saver to, to do it myself. I don't know. I've never done it, so. Anyway, so after that we went to Walmart, where I picked up uh, mostly pajamas, mostly. Actually, I think exclusively. I think exclusively. Yeah. I only got pajamas there. Got a couple of pajama bottoms, a couple of pajama shirts, and then a uh, lake house coat. Most of it pink. Most of it pink and purple. Because, uh... I'm a basic white, you know what the word comes next. That's me. Um. <laughs> so anyway, I, went, I had to go up to, to, to grocery shopping uh, afterwards. Uh, the, this, the Walmart has groceries, but... And you know what? Peeps peeps get like uh, mad when I say that I buy clothes at Walmart. Walmart clothes in, Cana in Canada, in Canada, actually not bad like genuinely it's not good right like like the, the clothes you get at Walmart it's not great um, it's not like stuff that that you're gonna go to like a uh, fancy place and see people wearing kind of sometimes is though but uh, it's like fairly pretty acceptable stuff and very affordable very very cheap and like I said when, when you have to buy like you know, a hundred different articles of clothing, saving 20, 30 bucks on, on each thing, ends up saving you a ton of money. Just a ton of money. Um, so, that's where I typically get my clothes for now. Especially, you know, I, I really want to make sure I'm, I'm saving money on clothes at this point, because I'm working on losing weight, right? It's going, it's going. The, the weight is coming off, it's, it's wonderful stuff, you know? Um, so I gotta say I buy a whole new wardrobe now, right? That's like 1500 bucks or whatever to, to, to dump that down the drain. And then uh, a year from now, a year from now, I, uh, I've lost, you know, the majority of the weight and I'm like, alright, it's time to start like getting proper new clothes that actually like fit and look nice and stuff. And it's like, okay, all of the clothes I bought, basically, <laughs> that, that that I wore when I was uh, heavier is, is basically garbage now, because uh, it's too big, right? So then I have to buy, like, a whole new wardrobe again, and it's just, it's just, I, uh, the, the prospects of that, the, the, the idea of that, the amount of money that would be getting spent on that, it's not an amount of money that I want to be spending. So especially right now, I'm definitely like, yeah, let's let's just save as much as I can on the clothes. So I actually like don't own much clothes either. Is the other thing because I'm I'm kind of like I just I don't want to buy clothes that's just gonna have to get like thrown out later. And typically when I throw out clothes, it goes to like uh, thrift store donations or something like that. Um, yeah, I used to go to the thrift store all the time. Actually, I used to be a very prolific user of the thrift stores, very uh, frequent visitor, you know. But uh, after COVID hit, it's like, do I really want to go to a thrift store and like try on clothes there? Eh, not so much. I do love going to them though, because you get you get to you know, most of the time, 
you don't see anything great most of the time. Sometimes you go and you see it's just like loaded up with like high end stuff for like five bucks. <laughs> You're like, yeah, okay, I think some like old lady or something just died and uh, dropped all their clothes off here that she never wore. And, uh, you know, sucks to be you, old lady, but at the same time, that's a, uh, <laughs> you know, thank you for, for being so generous with, uh, with your clothes in, uh, in your grave. It's morbid sometimes when you're at a thrift store. It's, it's morbid, for sure. <laughs> you gotta wonder where all the clothes comes from when they get, like, a big shipment of, like, the same kind of clothes. Cause sometimes you go there and you see, like, 18 different shirts of all the same style. That just popped up. They're all the same size, same style. You're like, one person dumped these all off. 100%. Why? Why do they dump them all off? Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video. If you like it, subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.